Good day, dear students. I am again with you. Today, we are going to talk about translation of news headlines correctly. So be with me, listen very carefully, and get some useful information. Headline has a different function and structure from the rest of the article or news reports, and it requires special skills from translators. Especially, uh, it needs uh, somehow uh, skill for translator to give the meaning of the article. The major functions of news headlines are summarizing the details, information, and to attract readers' attention. So sometimes politicians create new words and terms very uh, rapidly, and it causes some difficulties for translators. Headlines may be just uh, given in local lexicon, which requires especially uh, special attention from translator. For local newspaper headlines, uh, we should choose uh, quite uh, necessary translation, while for international journals, newspapers, we should choose quite another uh, translation because dialects and uh, international uh, newspapers or local newspapers require a different approach. So headlines are uh, especially required from us figurativeness. For example, push the button government is trusted like a uh, but not uh, just правительство. According to the meaning, the translator should give a translation. English newspapers headlines are short and attractive. So first basic requirement for newspaper headlines are privacy. Privacy that means being short because the space is limited. Words are limited. This one word should give the meaning of the whole article. It should immediately attract readers' attention and tells the story. Headlines often contain emotionally colored words and phrases such as crazy waste of yacht or no wonder housewives are pleading. Help. These are emotionally colored just headlines. To attract readers' attention, writers often use special terms, stylistic devices. So uh, don't forget, syntactically, headlines are very short sentences and phrases of variety of patterns, as you see on the screen. They may use full declarative sentences on the headlines, as you see on the screen. Or they may use inter, uh, interrogative sentences, do you allow, or who has never had uh, it so good. Or they may use nominative sentences, gloomy Sunday, Atlantic Sea, traffic. But with this type of sentence, they give the meaning, and the reader may understand what is the article about, and it gives a hint to the reader what he or she is going to read. Especially, uh, just uh, being short, being just structurally unusual, headlines give us some hint, some information about the meaning of the whole article. Sometimes we can see elliptical sentences with an auxiliary verb omitted. You can see on the screen sample from the headline where the auxiliary verb is omitted, with a subject omitted. Sometimes they omit subject of the sentence. Off to the sun, still in danger. That's it. But still, it gives the meaning of the article. Sentences with the article omitted. Sometimes articles are omitted on the headlines. And, but still, uh, the meaning will be understandable. Phrases, phrases with ver verbals sometimes are given. To get USA aid, keeping prices down. And so on. The examples you see on the screen just are real effective materials. Questions in the form of statements. The worse, the better. Grows now, smile later, and so on. Headlines including direct speech. Sometimes you can see direct speech headlines. Prince Charles said, Richard said, I was not in trouble. The Queen, my deep 
distressed, and so on. In order to translate the headlines, first of all, read through the article carefully, briefly what the news want to say, clarify, identify, and slightly modify it to the public whom you are translating to. If it's necessary, delete or increase for modification. Modify the headlines to the auditory, to the reader whom you are going to present the newspaper. And it's very important for a modification is very important for translator. If it's necessary, you can add some annotative words because uh, thinking habits are different of readers. If it's international journal or if it's international newspaper, and that's why give attention to the local readers of your translation. Add some information if it's necessary. To avoid misunderstanding, they advise the translators to add some necessary information. Sometimes you should use metaphor just uh, to attract the other's attention. In the, in the target language, you, you can use metaphor or puns. Use different syntax. Use different syntax rhetorical expressions in order to achieve the best results. Sometimes it's allowed to change the uh, question up to the negative form or negative to the positive form. Elliptical headlines translation. First of all, we have to find the subject before giving the meaning of the, of the translation. If it's necessary, use past simple and the, instead of present simple or vice versa. First of all, you should know what is the text about. Bell puts bandits to, to flight, but still, this sentence is in the past. After the reading the headline the newspaper, you have newspaper article, you have to translate the article. If the sentence or the headlines is given in the present simple, and while reading the article, uh, you identify the action has passed, you can translate it in the past tense, and that's why. Before translating the headlines, you have to read very clearly the article. After reading it, you can choose whether you have to put the verb in the past tense or in the present simple. Sometimes on the headlines, they may change the tenses. For example, present tense can be used as a future tense, or future tense can be used as a uh, past tense. But after reading the meaning of the article, you have a full right. You will be sure which tense to choose. Sometimes they advise us to decode the abbreviations. If abbreviations are given on the headlines, first of all, identify what does it mean in the source language before translating in the target language. If it's necessary, increase words, increase the sentence uh, words to give the meaning in order to avoid misunderstanding, attract attention, try to reproduce the original rhetoric features, attract attention, try to choose effective words, colorful words as it is in original language. As I have just told about it, headlines should be translated last after the newspaper has been translated. Before, you have no right to translate the headlines. Sometimes you may see auxiliary verbs omission, and in the examples you can see the translator added coffee anonymous to pass radio, to speak or is to speak. Omission of some letters, especially in verbs, sometimes they omit, continued. So you have to guess what is omitted, but you can fully give the translation in the target language. Transport workers strike. Worker strike continued. The continued was shortened, but in the uh, target language translation, they gave the full translation of the word. If there are given group of nouns or a group of adjectives, so here you have to divide them into the word uh, just, uh, word combinations before translating. Railway accent convention only the meaning. So here you can see group of adjectives. Here you have to divide. Into the word combinations, and then you have to translate this expression because it will be difficult for the translator to give the meaning in the target language. You can see the same example on the screen: automobile repair plants, reconstruction problems, problem reconstruction after remote zavod. So here, translator first of all, before translating, he divided uh, original text into word combinations, then. It, it was easy for him or for her to translate. So make the readers enjoy the beauty in terms of meanings, sounds and shape. 
so they should feel the same feeling as it's original. Thank you very much.